Now the month of April is no stranger to wildfires and red flag warnings with fire activity popping up in a few areas of the state this weekend. Carrie's 5's Chan Stickland spoke with a local fire official to get some tips on how you can keep yourself and those around you safe. He joins us live in the studio with more details. Chance. Rob Jocelyn, wildfires are nothing to joke around about. They destroy buildings and too often kill wildlife and even people. So knowing what to watch out for and how you and your family can avoid becoming yet another statistic is important. We've all heard the phrase, know before you go. It goes hand in hand with prepping for fire danger. Coloradans love the sunshine and recreating outside, but with that comes responsibility as weather officials issue red flag warnings. We're really starting to get into the time of the year where they're more frequent. Uh, so if you are doing something outdoors, cooking or doing some work or clearing some land, it's really something you should pay attention to. Windy and heat don't automatically mean a red flag warning. A trifecta of things trigger the alert. It really is that combination of high temperatures, high winds and low humidity. Something the National Weather Service oversees then issues warnings to local communities. Dirk Klingman says unexpected fire starters ignite the most dangerous fires. Target shooting, dragging chains while, while towing a vehicle or a trailer or a piece of camping equipment or even just cooking outside on a red flag day could, could uh, cause a fire to occur that you didn't see coming. So if you encounter a wildfire, who's there to help? If you ever find yourself battling a wildfire, don't panic. The Grand Junction Fire Department is here to help. You can also help yourself, your family, and your pets by signing up for the county's alert system. We have a countywide system where people can sign up their cell phones and get alerts about uh, any emergency that's happening near their home, their workplace, or even their child's school. And it's really easy to sign up. That's right. Just visit the sheriff's office website, the police department's website, or the fire department's website to sign up for alerts. Because sometimes, just a matter of seconds to protect yourself and loved ones in an emergency can make all the difference. Megan Terlecki with the sheriff's office tells me the alert system puts out different notifications. There's a public safety in the event of a fire in your area or weather alerts for red flag warnings. Do what you can to be sure you aren't igniting a fire that may burn out of control. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Chance Thicklin, KRX 5 News. Rob Jocelyn.